Consider the following 2019 AMC 12B, problem number 23. The same problem also appeared as AMC 10B, problem number 25 in the same year. And here is a view of this problem. We would like to count the number of sequences, binary sequences actually, of length 19. And we would like our sequences to begin and end with a zero. So a sequence beginning with a zero, ending with a zero. We, we don't want any two consecutive zeros. So make sure we don't have any zero, zero appearing in the sequence, as well as no three consecutive ones. One, 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 also something we don't want. That's it. Those are the only uh, restrictions. And I would like to provide uh, two solutions to this problem. So for the first solution, I would like to use uh, make use of recursion. And because I've seen many problems, and you guys have seen many problems like this, where we count number of sequences or numbers uh, of strings uh, satisfying certain conditions, these type of problems are very common on the AMC and on the AMI, but mostly on the AMC contests. All right, so uh, the recursive idea is based on first investigating a few small cases and then uh, trying to see if you can generalize it into... Uh, uh, for, uh, for for the general case. All right, so suppose our number is a, a single digit number. So n is equal to one, the length or L, let's call, um, yeah, n, n is good. Okay, so n is equal to one. How many one digit number would satisfy uh, these uh, three conditions? Well, I can think of only one of them and that's the string zero. And as a result, we can get our first count. Let's call, because we will be doing recursion, the sequences that satisfy this. So S sub 1 is equal to, as a result, 1. All right, so N is equal to 2. Well, two digit uh, sequences, starting with a 0, ending with a 0, no double zeros. Uh, that's not going to work. So uh, unfortunately, no solution here. S sub 2 is equal to 0. N is equal to 3. Uh, three digits, one, two, three, starting with a zero, ending with a zero. We have no other choice, right? Because we can't have two consecutive zeros. The middle digit has got to be a one. So as a result, S sub three is uh, equal to one. There's only a single number that can satisfy this. Uh, let's go a few more, maybe. N equals four. Uh, one, two, three, four, starting with a zero, ending with a zero. This seems promising, so we might have uh, multiple solutions. Well, first of all, because next uh, two zeros are not allowed. Uh, well, actually, there's only one in that case, right? So two zeros are not allowed. So therefore, virtually, our sequence really begins with zero, one and ends with zero, one, one, zero, I should say. If it is at least uh, length three here, as you can see, or length four now, right? If it's length two, obviously, the middle one won't be necessary. Awesome. So um, maybe one more. Oh, so therefore S sub 4 as a result is 1 again. N equals 5. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Start with a 0, end with a 0. Next digits have got to be 1. I can't have 3 consecutive 1, so therefore this middle digit has got to be 0. And again, S sub 5 is equal to 1 again. I wonder if I will ever hit a 2. Let me keep going until I hit a 2, just for the fun of it. I know. You don't like me for doing that, but I'll just do it anyways. <laughs> okay, so start with a zero, end with a zero. So next to the zeros, there would be ones. Now we have two options. Either the digit next to one is another one, after which we have to have a zero here because I can't have three or four consecutive ones. And then an alternative way would be one, two, three, four, five, six, zero, ending with a zero, ones next to it. Then what happens if this is a zero then, it ha because I can't have two uh, zeros next to each other, I, this one has got to be a one. Whew, so S sub six is actually a two. I like it. Anyhow, so we kind of see what's going on. Um, now let's see if we can build up a uh, the, the general uh, recursive form. So we have a in the general case we have an n digit number. This is I mean traditional, so we always do it like that, if you will. So we start with a, a zero, we end with a zero, and then we want to investigate. Obviously, the next digit has got to be a one. I don't have any choice on that as is this one from the end. And then after that, I have a choice and that's my case work. So let's, uh, so in that case, I, I will end up having two cases. So the next digit can either end up being a, uh, a zero or a one, right? So if it is a zero versus if it's a one, uh, so the sequence is the same, 
it starts with zero one one zero okay so uh, what can happen so what are those uh, cases well after it's a zero because it can't be any other zero it has to be a one well right after that and then after the one we would have to have a zero and by now i'm pretty confident about what's going on so this is s sub n right so i just realized that s sub n is made up of two things well i can either start with uh in this fashion, 0, 1, 0 followed by a 0, but then this number is an other uh, valid number, right? The only thing, because it starts with a 0 and with a 0, next to it is 1s, and obviously it satisfies uh, the same conditions, like these uh, three conditions, 1, 2, 3, um, as as the, the whole sequence itself, because it's a subsequence of it. So as a result, so this counts as S sub n minus 2. And now we want to investigate the, the, the second case. Well, after the zero, we'll get another one. And aha, another subsequence. Look at that. This subsequence has a uh, length uh, S sub n minus three because we already consumed uh, three elements at the beginning. And, and that's pretty much it. So uh, that's exhaustive. So S sub n is equal to S sub n minus two plus S sub n minus one three we have an abundance of initial cases so what i want to do is let's test a few of them just to establish to confirm that what we did is actually works so for instance let's we could start as um, with the three uh so s sub three well that's that's not gonna work so s sub four sorry for that so because there's a minus three here right so s sub four is equal to s sub two plus s sub four minus three is a one s sub two is is zero S sub 1 is a 1, and that's perfect. Let's try one more. S sub 5. S sub 5 would be just S sub 3 plus S sub 2. If you plug in into this recursive form, uh, n equals 5, obviously. So in that case, uh, that would be uh, S sub 3 was, uh, well, uh, S sub 3 was 1. So we really need three initial conditions to have the uh, recursion work, right? Because the gap between S sub n and S sub n minus three is a three. So those three I had to calculate. The others were redundant, but it was still nice. Let's see if we can confirm with our recursion the same numbers, which would be super cool. So S sub three is a one plus S sub two is a zero. So that will give me a one. And that's perfect so far. S sub six, let's see if I can confirm S sub six, this number. It has to be S sub 4 plus S sub 3. S sub 4, we got it as 1 earlier. And S sub 3 was 1. We This has... Yes, there you go. We are pretty confident of what we've done. Now, we uh, the rest of the question is just bashing. Uh, we need to bash all the way to 19. Now, you might say 19 is a big number and you can complain, but there's pretty much not much options. Because, well, uh, the alternative is to come up with a closed form uh, recursion. Uh, the characteristic polynomial for this one won't be nice. It will be something like this. And the roots are radical, so... I, and besides, it's a cubic. Uh, solving it is... is is not easy so even if you can find a closed form from this one that won't be as um, like as useful if the roots came out as integers then you might consider using a closed form solution right anyhow so uh we keep going on like this <laughs> long story long story short what i can do is by now I, I i'm pretty confident of what's going on so i can just quickly do the so two before that and then three before that one plus one is a is a two S sub 8 is uh, S sub 6 plus S sub 5, which is a 3. S sub 9 is S sub 7 plus S sub 6. 2 plus 2 is a 4. Uh, S sub 10 is equal to S sub 8 plus S sub 7, which is a 5. And as you can see, I need to go all the way up to 19. Uh, 9 plus 8, uh, 3 plus 4 is a 7. S sub 12 is... 5 plus 4 is a 9, S sub 13, uh, 7 plus 5 is a 12, S sub 14, 9 plus 7 is a 16. Okay, so this <laughs> recursion is growing pretty slowly, and yeah? that's nice. I mean, for computational purposes, that makes the thing. Uh, so S sub 15 is just uh, 12 plus 9 is 21. S sub 16 is 16 plus 12 is 28. S sub 17 
is uh, 21 plus, so that's a 37. S sub 18, uh, let, let's open a new line here. So that was a 37. Uh, S sub 18 would be just uh, 28 plus 21, which is a 49. And lastly, long behold, S sub 19 is 37 plus 28, and that is 65. And that's it. So that's uh, the answer to this problem. Here's an alternative way to solve this very same problem. Um, well, uh, this is uh, based on a very neat uh, observation, and it's based on the fact that, hey, when you think about these uh, not two consecutive zeros and not three consecutive ones, it seems like the only legit way to write a number, for instance, you can inspect some of these, uh, would be to use... A to, uh, to use, it's kind of like a tiling problem. You are tiling a 19 by 1 uh, uh, string with uh, using either 0, 1, 1 tiles or 0, 1 tiles, with the exception of the very last entry being a 0 tile. But because the very last entry is always going to be a, a lonely tile by itself, so it's pretty neat so you you guys can see what's going to happen so you can tile it with 0 1 0 1 1 so what i will do next is to make use of this uh, observation so let's open a new uh, thing here so that would be uh, the second solution uh, to this uh, problem so what we have is two types of tiles we have a tiles uh, which look like 0 1 and we have b tiles which looks like 0, 1, 1, and that's it. We're going to tile the whole uh, 19 by 1 thing, but again, because it starts with a 0, which is nice, and it ends with a 0, the last 0 is uh, is starting a new tiling, which I, I don't want to start, so therefore I will just ignore this last one. Just reduce it, cut it. So therefore, instead of tiling a 19 by 1, we will go ahead and tile an 18 by 1 uh, sequence uh, uh, and and that should that should do so um, well if you start with a sub how many of these should we use uh, let's call it k of these and how many of them l of them obviously because uh, we want to tile an 18 by 1 sequence uh, we need to use such that k of these each one has length 2 so we, we would get 2k plus and the Bs, the tile Bs, we have L of them, so each one has length 3, 3L. Three this thing better be 18. And then I will do case work based on that basic, and that's it. So therefore, uh, what I can have is, well, uh, for K and uh, L, well, I need to hit the 18. So L is the larger one, I mean, the, the coefficient of it is the larger one. So L can be 6, in that case, K would be 0. L can be... Um, 4 I guess 4 times 3 is 12 so k would be uh, k would be 3 or l can be 2 6 uh, k would be 6 and finally l can be 0 in which case you are using only uh, the a's to tile it and that would be a 9 and that's it uh, in that case, now let's count how many ways. So here we are only using Bs to tile the whole thing. We are using 6 Bs. How many ways can we write 6 Bs? Can, can we tile it using these 6 Bs? And obviously this, there's only one way. Just put those uh, 6 Bs next to each other. And this one, by the way, is also pretty neat. I mean, very simple, I would say. Here we have 9 As. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and really you just put them next to each other. That's it. There's only one way to handle this one. So the real bite is uh, with uh, the middle two uh, cases. So in this case, uh, we end up with uh, three A's and then four B's. And how many ways can you arrange these? Uh, well, seven choose three. That's it. So seven times six times five, divide by three, two, one. Seven times five is 35. And finally, here we can have uh, six A's and uh, two B's. And how many ways in this case? Well, let's write it like this. Eight choose two ways to arrange them. Eight times seven over two, four times seven is 28. Now let's add up all these cases. 35, uh, well, actually one plus 28 plus one is 30. 30 plus 35 is 65, long behold. 
right? We got the same answer. So that's pretty neat. Uh, so two different ways to solve that very same problem. And this was an AMC 10B number 25. I think the confusing part about the problem was... Um, when you build the recursion, you might be worried, okay, so we we are used to start a recursion either from the beginning or from the end, but for both the beginning and the end being given some constraints, that might worry some of you guys when you are ready to build your recursion, but you should just worry on one end of it, the other end will be taken care of by the base cases basically, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and looking forward to see you guys uh, in our next lecture.